this. Now we go towards the, the last law of our, of our syllabus, which is the law of effect, which was given in 1932. So it was given two years after law of exercise. Law of effect, again, it's a, it's a remarkable law and uh, we, we are coming across this in our everyday life as well. Law of effect says that anything that has pleasant consequences is likely to be repeated. So we are more likely to repeat something if it gives us pleasure, if we like the result of this. This relates to most of our activities in the everyday life. So we are following this. We try to follow those things which gives us pleasure because they have a pleasant effect. They have a pleasant consequence. So the law of effect is relates to the effect of a particular particular activity. So if the effect is strong, if, so if the effect is good, if the effect is pleasurable, then we would be doing that activity again and again. And similarly, in, in, in contrary, we have unpleasant consequences for a particular activity and then we try to avoid that particular activity. So anything which is not pleasant to us, which has bad consequences, which has bad effect, so we do not like to repeat that kind of activity or learning. So responses that produces that produce a satisfying effect in a particular situation become more likely to occur again and in that situation and vice versa. So uh, the same thing that we we just explained. Uh, this is a just quick view of uh, the the experiment that was performed by Thorndike, and that's the famous puzzle box experiment in which. There is a cat that is being trapped in a in a box, and the the cat has has to solve the puzzle to to reach to the food, and to have some pleasurable effect. So the cat is placed in the box, and the food is outside there, and therefore the food uh, cannot be reached. So what the the cat can do was that. The, the cat can press a lever and the lever attached to a string can then open the trap door. So while the cat, if the cat presses the lever, then that door can be opened and the cat can have the food. So when the cat accidentally uh, came across the lever and, and it, it was pushed, so that the door opened and the cat came and uh, reached the food. But now the cat has a pleasurable effect now. It has a pleasurable experience. It has a wonderful experience. And the experience was having the food which was linked with pressing of the liver. So the next time when the cat would be placed in the puzzle box, so the cat would press the liver more quickly because the cat has learned this behavior that this pressing of the liver was enough to give him to give it the effect of having the food. So here are some of the examples that we see in our everyday life relates to law of effect. The student performance uh, in, the, in the education is linked with the law of effect. Whenever the student is, is doing with a particular kind of subject or a particular type of content and if the student is liking the, the particular activity, the student would be performing that activity more frequently. This is just similar to if you ask a student about his favorite subject. So some of some of the students would say mathematics, some of them would say physics, some of them would say language. So whatever is the choice of the student. So this means that the student would be doing that particular subject more often because the student extract pleasure from that particular activity. And this again relates to different kind of other activities as well. This can also be linked with with games and sports as well or with a different kind of uh, uh, learning experiences as well similarly if the the electrocution or the electric wire when we touch a a switch or an electrical wire and and we get electric shock then we try to prevent that that particular uh, switch or particular wire or do not 
come near to electrical devices because now we have a bad effect of uh, uh, that particular uh, stimulus. Similarly, good behavior uh, is always rewarded. And we see that when whenever we do some kind of good behavior, some kind of good deed, so it has an in, intrinsic effect in, in has, it has a inner effect on on our our pleasure on our our comfort our esteem and therefore we would like to repeat that good behavior again and again similarly the traffic chalan you know um, that is given by the by the traffic inspector so that has a bad effect that has a unpleasant effect and we then in the future try to avoid that kind of um, undesired behavior similarly the concept of hell and paradise uh, in different religions is again linked with the law of effect other uh, other activities are charity and uh, religious practices because we offer praise because we this has a pleasant effect on our soul on our physical physical state or our mental state and therefore we are more likely to repeat those practices some of the education and application of law of effect are that we use this law of effect um, in, in in learning whenever we are doing a particular kind of education activity so the feedback that we are we are taking from that particular activity would reinforce our behavior if we are getting the the good answers if we are getting the right answers so this will have a positive effect on our behavior and we would be doing it more and more often so the use of reinforcement the use of some kind of feedback and learning would have a good effect otherwise if the feedback or the reinforcement is not there then the effect is absent and therefore the learning would not be repeated the particular kind of education activity will not be repeated learning trials associated with satisfying consequences so it is again linked with, with the first one and uh, can be relates to different kind of uh, practice with different kind of subjects for example mathematics and um, the more you get the, the right answers the more uh, encouraged you are and the more satisfying you are and the more likely that you will perform the the same subject as again again and again similarly the concept of reward and punishment is also there in, a, in our education and therefore because reward has a present consequences so the students would be more uh, encouraged to do the particular activity to get the reward and they would try to avoid punishment and therefore because punishment has a bad effect therefore um, they would try to avoid that similarly discouragement should be avoided in the class during 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 education during learning because discouragement discouraging or taunting the student or be angry with the student has a negative consequence and therefore they would not like that so and then therefore they would also um, be a bit resistant towards learning as well uh, i would end up with a question and the question is that because law of effect is so widely used in every learning we are looking at the consequence the consequence of being positive or negative or consequence of being pleasurable effect or undesirable effect if the pleasurable effect we are going to repeat this if the if the consequence is unpleasurable we are trying we will try to avoid that so the question is that is there any situation where learning occurs without law of effect so just just think of any learning in our everyday life in which law of effect is not applicable in which law of effect is not applied so it's a food for thought for 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 you for for my students for all students and um, if you have any answer to this so you can just uh, let me know through through class uh, um, discussion or through comment on this particular